Coxit is an emerging solution for the management of inflammation and pain. A unique non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug with a better safety profile and dual mode of action, Polvolt 2 mg blocks both carbonic anhydrase and cyclooxygenase 2 enzymes. Currently available, first-generation NSAIDs like naproxen, diclofenac, ibuprofen etc. are non-selective and inhibit both cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 enzymes, leading to gastrointestinal and cardiovascular side effects. Therefore, to overcome these adverse effects due to cyclooxygenase 1-dependent mechanisms, several new selective cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors have been developed. Selective cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors such as celecoxib, rofcoxib, valdecoxib etc. reduce the gastrointestinal tract side effects but increase the cardiovascular side effects. Due to these serious cardiovascular events, including cardiac arrhythmias, hypertension, myocardial infarction, leading to the withdrawal of these drugs from the market. Therefore, there remains an unmet medical need for new alternative coxibs that do not cause cardiovascular adverse effects. Introducing Polvolt Polmacoxib, a next-generation NSAID with tissue-selective cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitor. A first-in-class NSAID, which is a dual inhibitor of cyclooxygenase 2 and carbonic anhydrase enzymes. Tissue-specific, once-a-day orally active drug with half-life of five days. Polmacoxib provides a novel, tissue-specific transport mechanism that is designed to deliver sustained levels of the drug to the inflamed tissues while maintaining low systemic exposure. The core structure of both cyclooxygenase 2 and carbonic anhydrase enzymes are similar due to their aryl sulfonamide moiety. Selective cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors containing a sulfonamide moiety also act as potent inhibitors of several carbonic anhydrase enzyme isoforms. Since polmacoxib contains sulfonamide, thus it inhibits both the enzymes. Carbonic anhydrase concentration is very low in the inflamed joints and tissues whereas cyclooxygenase 2 concentration rises in the inflamed tissues. The greater the distribution of carbonic anhydrase in the tissue, the lesser the inhibitory action of cyclooxygenase 2. Wherever cyclooxygenase 2 and carbonic anhydrase coexist, high affinity and preferential binding of polmacoxib to carbonic anhydrase takes place thus reducing the cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitory activity of polmacoxib. Cardiovascular side effects are reduced since cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme is spared in cardiac tissue. Polmacoxib with its dual mechanism of action minimizes the adverse cardiovascular side effects related to cyclooxygenase 2 inhibition due to competition between two enzymes for binding to active site of polmacoxib. Carbonic anhydrases acts like a sponge for polmacoxib due to high preference of polmacoxib towards carbonic anhydrase in the cardiovascular, lungs, gastrointestinal tract and kidneys. Polmacoxib has a tissue-specific action. It provides a novel tissue-specific transport mechanism that is designed to deliver sustained levels of drug to the inflamed tissues while maintaining low systemic exposure. Interestingly, three polmacoxib molecules bind to one active site of carbonic anhydrase 1 enzyme, whereas one polmacoxib binds with the carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme. Carbonic anhydrase directly competes with cyclooxygenase 2 hindering the inhibitory activity of polmacoxib against cyclooxygenase 2 in the gastrointestinal tract, lungs, liver, heart and kidneys. These are the primary organs where selective cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors exhibit side effects. Carbonic anhydrase 1 and carbonic anhydrase 2 inhibition by polmacoxib reduces the potential side effects mediated by cyclooxygenase 2 inhibition because carbonic anhydrases have a preference for polmacoxib, sparing side effects in organs like gastrointestinal tract, kidneys, lungs, and heart. This unique dual cyclooxygenase 2 and carbonic anhydrase inhibition are designed to provide potentially superior safety to cardiovascular, renal, respiratory, and gastrointestinal tissues compared to traditional NSAIDs or cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitor drugs. Importantly, low-dose administration of polmacoxib, only 2 mg has shown to have a negligible inhibitory effect on the required carbonic anhydrase enzyme function in the circulatory, gastrointestinal and renal system, despite polmacoxib theoretically remaining in a combined state with carbonic anhydrase enzyme. There are many advantages of polmacoxib over other cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors like celecoxib. Polmacoxib is a first, tissue-specific and selective, once-a-day osteoarthritis drug with half-life of five days. It has unique mode of action, it is a dual inhibitor of cyclooxygenase 2 and carbonic anhydrase 1 and 2 enzymes. Due to this unique mechanism, polmacoxib specifically targets affected or inflamed joints only, and healthy tissue is spared of the side effects. 
quick onset of relief from the signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis in comparison to celecoxib. It is highest potency among the available NSAIDs. Only at a 2 mg per day dose, the lowest dose amongst all known NSAIDs. Convenient once-a-day regimen provides better compliance in patients, unlike most other NSAIDs, due to long half-life of palmacoxib which is approximately 5 days. Significantly improved gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, pulmonary and renal safety as compared to the traditional NSAIDs. The tissue selective mechanism provides enhanced cardiovascular safety over other NSAIDs. Long-term safety established in long-duration studies extending up to six months of continuous usage. As compared to the traditional NSAIDs like naproxen, diclofenac, ibuprofen or selective other cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors like celecoxib, palmacoxib shows highest cyclooxygenase 2 selectivity due to tissue-selective carbonic anhydrase inhibition it spares cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme. Palmacoxib with once-a-day administration shows enhanced gastrointestinal and cardiovascular safety. In pharmacokinetic studies, drug exposure in whole blood is 80 to 100 times higher than in plasma. The maximum plasma concentration reaches 5.5 to 72 hours after administration and the steady state is achieved about 20 days after the start of administration. The half-life of a single dose of palmacoxib is approximately 5 days. This drug is mainly metabolized by CYP3A4, however concurrent administration of ketoconazole, a strong CYP3A4 inhibitor with palmacoxib doesn't change its safety profile. Palmacoxib is excreted both via feces and urine. Indications and dosage administration. Drugs Controller General of India approved palmacoxib 2 mg capsule in India on the 1st of May 2023 for the treatment of osteoarthritis of hip and knee joints. Recommended adults dose is 2 mg once daily. Maximum dose should not exceed 2 mg per day since the drug is slowly accumulated in plasma and reaches steady state concentration in a few days. Palmacoxib is not recommended in children and patients under 18 years of age. Clinical evidence of palmacoxib in human clinical studies. A clinical study evaluated the safety, tolerability, pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic profiles of multiple oral doses of palmacoxib in healthy volunteers. Three sequential doses were studied in this phase one clinical trial. Palmacoxib was well tolerated. There were no clinically significant changes in blood pressure between the treatment groups. Palmacoxib achieved whole blood concentration of 50 to 70 times higher than in plasma. Palmacoxib suppressed serum thromboxane B2 and prostaglandin E2 at all three doses. Only highest dose of palmacoxib suppressed urinary excretion of the urinary prostacyclin metabolite. Palmacoxib is metabolized through cytochrome CYP3A enzyme. A clinical study evaluated the influence of ketoconazole, a known strong inhibitor of CYP3A, on the pharmacokinetic properties of palmacoxib. When given with ketoconazole, the area under the curve increases for palmacoxib but doesn't change the safety profile of palmacoxib. In a six-week study, a randomized, multicentric, phase 3 trial evaluated the efficacy and safety of palmacoxib compared with celecoxib and placebo for patients with osteoarthritis followed by 18-week extension of safety study, totaling 24 weeks, 324 out of 362 patients completed the treatment and 220 completed the safety study. Palmacoxib showed quicker onset of relief from osteoarthritis as compared to celecoxib. Palmacoxib showed statistically significant superiority over placebo at week 3, but celecoxib did not show statistically significant difference from placebo at week 3. Womack physical function scores at week 3 Palmacoxib demonstrated better efficacy against celecoxib in all other efficacy endpoints including Womack pain and stiffness subscales at week 3 and week 6. Palmacoxib showed superior efficacy over celecoxib with statistical significance in physicians' global assessment score. 77.7% of patients taking palmacoxib experienced improvement in signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis as compared to 58.9% in celecoxib group. Safety conclusions from 24 weeks palmacoxib extension study showed that it was well tolerated and adverse events were generally mild. There were no clinically relevant adverse findings in the analysis of clinical laboratory tests, vital signs, electrocardiogram, or physical examination results. We hope this scientific data and information will help you in confidently prescribing Polvolt 2mg from Zaventus Healthcare Limited.